Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Piccadilly. Now, work continues on the phase one of the extension, and I'll show you what I've done. I'm still nowhere close, but um, most of the structure is in now, and I've started looking at some of the wiring. I will show you that. Hopefully you can get a sense of the type of thing I've been doing there. So I've literally pulled out all the wires, shortened many, and literally just replaced a lot and just tidied it all up a bit. Now, I'm really, I'm not, this is how it's gonna be. I'm not gonna change it from this, except when the extend, the this side of the extension takes place, then obviously there will be some changes there. Um, if I take you across to the other side, it's still, a complete site yeah now this bit here is the crossover if I take you up it's this bit so obviously the, all these tracks are coming out so I'm more reluctant to be honest with you to sort of go overboard with this bit and sort of tidy it up it is a complete site I know that uh, but it's coming out in the next few months, up to a year, hopefully no longer than that. Um, so what I might just do is just tie it up and just so it's not that garroting hazard that I suggested before anyway. Um, over in that back corner, over there, it's, I will tidy some of that up. But again, there's the fiddle yard at that side over by the wall and that's coming out. So again, there's no point in tidying up something which is actually just going to come out and that will be out within the next few days. So, you know, that's how it is. Hi. You can probably sense from the tone of my voice that I'm not ever so happy at the moment. Disaster seems to have struck. Let me take you around and show you what's happened. Uh, you can probably just about make out the Z21 there is showing a red flashing light, which indicates there's a short. So my first thought was just take off all the trains. So they're all, they're all gathered on the platforms and just on the sides of the track. And I've put a whole load more over there. Um, I'm going to have to box those up, I think, or put them, up, put them away of some way to get this sorted out. But... It means I've got to start from the beginning and work out where the short is. Um, there's going to be no shortcuts on all this. As you know, if I take you down underneath the board, as you know, I've been working on the wiring and uh, sort of cutting it back and tying it up and generally making it a whole lot better than it is. Um, well, it was, sorry. So what I've got to do is to turn off every module and uh, start at the beginning. And I'll just explain briefly how the layout's put together and then hopefully you'll understand. There's a module running there. There's a very short one just there. And a much longer one running that way down there and then another long one just there okay and then a short little bridge um over there which is the bit where i was explaining earlier where it's just no point in tidying up the wires because all those tracks are coming out if you remember now on the wiring front there is a connection between each board I take you around here it's this type of connection you get these for cars um, that's the red and blue red and black one for the three volt but my actual connection for the track is just there okay the brown and blue and every board has one of those and also that connection into the Z21 Earlier on, I, mean, I showed you, let me take you back, that terminal block connection. That 
every board has one of those. And the idea of that is that I was at the beginning, I was able to take the boards out and then just connect them up to the um, Hornby Select earlier on. Um, and I still can do that or run a portion of the track DC. I can take that part of the board out and still have a connection without having to go through soldering. Just found that a bit easier. So what I've got to do is disconnect all of those and then go back to the main first board which is this one just here okay and then go back i know that's all hanging i will i will put that back up shortly go back to the original connection which is just here the z21 comes in on all this this load of wiring here and then you've got one of these terminal block type connectors which is that type of thing okay So the, the main wire comes in around here, around here, through this board and into these terminal blocks here. And the bus wire continues along and there's another set of terminal blocks there. And that's repeated on every board. There's at least two on every board, possibly one on the bridge, I can't remember. So I've got to go through and disconnect all of these droppers on both sides and just check um, that there is still a live feed coming through with all the other boards disconnected because if the other boards are disconnected they can't be sending any power to the track so therefore what I'm doing is disconnecting the track completely from the layout and by doing it that way, I can then sense if the uh, short is on this board or it's on another board. OK, right. I think I've solved it. It's come from one of those two decoders just there. Um, they are all right, but they have caused me so many problems both the two size ones and the four size, the eight size ones with eight accessory decoders. I had a thought that I should just dis disconnect all those decoders and all the, uh, I'm not sure quite what you call them, frog juices from the Gauge Master frog juices, disconnect all of those. The moment that I did that because I'm constantly pulling something out, check turning the transformer on, see if it's working. And obviously if I get a short, I carry on, I carry on, I carry on. But it seemed that the moment I disconnected those and tested the, the power come back on. And then it was a case of reconnecting one to see which one it was that was causing the problem. And although I didn't think I'd reconnected them um, the wrong way around, I must have, um, I don't know. But everything seems to be running now and I'll show you that in a second. Right, so there you can see, trains are finally running again. There's 68 and the Voyager. And um, I'm really quite relieved at that. It's not all back on, but as you can see, I've literally just taken everything off. So there's only three trains on the layout at the moment, and that's the 68 there. I mean, they've even removed the canopies, to be honest with you. I've got to still go through and reconnect all the, ju the frog juices hoping that not one of those has caused the, caused the short in the first place, but I'll test after every single one just in case, because you just don't know. And so obviously, if I do it all one at a time, every item one at a time, then if the, if the short does come back, then I can know which one it is and just remove that one and sort of replace it. But, as you can appreciate, it's been a bit of a nightmare over this last three days. 
trying to get it sorted. So hopefully that's it. But I wasn't going to put this video up, to be honest with you. But then I thought, well, it might be helpful to somebody. And that's what it's about, isn't it? We're all here to help each other. And, uh, you know, it's, many people have helped me. And uh, there might be somebody going through exactly this at the same moment different part of the world you just never know so if I can help in any way then it's got to be a good thing isn't it? so just to clarify what I did uh, the layout is in different sections so there's one module just here there's another module just there there's um, another module just there I think it is and another one just here okay and then another one there so all those all those parts of the layout are separated so i disconnected each one uh, disconnected all those joining wires like i showed you turned on the first section of track uh, whilst everything was disconnected dropped out pulled out all the droppers checked put everything back in to see where it was and then went through each board one time and the only the, the problem sort of recurred if you like when i got to board number three which was in that far corner over there which is where those decoders were um, as i pointed out here and once i'd reconnect uh, reconnected those those decoders in the correct order that's when everything came back on again so i must have just put something back in the wrong way around but I'm hoping that's clear, hoping that's helpful. Um, but anyway, I'm going to crack on with the uh, the uh, the rebuild. Uh, next video, I've, I'm going to reveal how I'm going to uh, bring the trains from one level to the other. I've, I've rigged up a test module of how it's going to work. Um, and I'll show you it hopefully working um but on the other hand if it doesn't work i'll show you what i was planning and i'll be up front with you and tell you what what was going on all right anyway i'll catch you another time on piccadilly i hope you've enjoyed this video like i said i hope it's been helpful and um i'll see you soon thank you for watching take care i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please do like subscribe and share remembering to click on that little bell and you get notification of my videos straight into your inbox. On the screen, you might see some other videos that might take your interest. Okay, everyone, see you soon. Bye for now.